dotted eighth note delay. One of the many ways that the delay effect can make our lives a little better and make our guitars sound a little more fascinating. In this little intro I played a snippet of Bach's cello suite using that particular technique. Because, well, because of reasons. So it's great to be back in the studio and in this video we're taking an in-depth look in this technique, why it sounds so amazing and how to set up your delay and more. So the dotted eighth note delay, what is it? Let me demonstrate quickly with a finger snap. This sounds pretty boring, right? Now let's add a dotted eighth note delay. Whoa, that is amazing. So it's an eighth note with a dot behind it. It's the time interval between the moment you play the note and the repetition you hear. So it's a dotted eighth note later. So an eighth note is how we would count one and two and three and four and t t t. Those are eighth notes. The dot behind an eighth note basically adds half of its value. So the length of an eighth note is a half beat and now it becomes three quarters of a beat. So now the delayed note falls exactly in between the eighth notes to fill up the gaps. So let's just play eighth notes on a D string. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and three. And now let's turn on the delay pedal with an eighth note delay setting. So no dotted eight, but just a regular eighth. So this sounds pretty much the same because each delay falls on the note I'm playing. So it sounds a little bit chorusy because each note gets doubled, but what if we did it with a dotted eighth note delay? Let's have a listen. No delay. So now we're creating the illusion of playing sixteenth notes. One E and the two E and the three E and the Floyd. So I'm not playing anything different, I'm just playing eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. So the delay makes more than I'm playing. Now the cool thing is that you can play fairly easy stuff and it will sound way more complicated. Let's have a listen. Stuff that usually works good with this technique is arpeggio based or chord or harmony based guitar parts. If it's too melodic or you use chords from outside the key or key changes, um, it will become messy because the delayed notes are overlapping with the new chord and they don't match. Sounding dissonant or just not pleasing to listen to, so beware. Also having some palm mute action will make it sound way more awesome because there is a nice distinct attack and decay of the notes so you can easily hear what's happening. So this is palm muted, let's just play something. And this is just open notes. The delay pedal I'm using right now has a dotted eighth note setting, so I can just tap in the right tempo of the song and it automatically calculates the right setting for me, like this. So there are buttons from one to four with increments of a 16th note. So if I engage four, I'm just hearing the quarter notes. 
If I play two, I'm hearing eighth notes. One is a sixteenth note. And you guess it, three is a dotted eighth note. If your pedal does not have this feature, or just a dotted eighth note setting, you can still dial it in. You can do this by thinking in a 4 against 3 polyrhythm. So tap along with the beat of the song. So let's say we have the same beat. So now my delay setting is just on a quarter note, so just like any other ordinary delay, when you tap it's what you hear. So let's turn on the metronome. So now we're going to think in 4 against 3. But that should be your beat. Let's try it out. And there we are. So 4 over 3, we tap our hand 4 times in the same time that the beat plays 3. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's basically the rhythm. It's pretty easy. So now your delay setting should be on a dotted eighth note too. Um, and if you don't have a tap tempo, you can just dial in the time knob so that you match the dotted eighth note time. You will hear it if it's there. Just let me try it. Some famous examples of this are um, U2 does this a lot, like a bad or where the streets have no name. Um. Also, Buckethead does this a lot. Big Sur Moon or Whitewash are my favorites. I've never played Big Sur Moon before. I believe it goes something like this. off like a crazy man. This technique is used all the time in more subtle ways because a dot eight setting is just great overall delay setting for solos, rhythm playing, riffing. Because a delay note doesn't get in the way of your actual playing, it falls sort of in between of the notes. So it's pretty awesome to check it out. So if you have a delay pedal, let's try it out, have some fun with it, enjoy. This was Paul, have a great day and thank you for watching. Cheers. Uh, Adam, Adam, this is Siri again. Yeah. I want one pro tip: how not to suck at YouTube. Uh, how to not suck at music? In music? No, okay. no, no, no. How not to suck at YouTube? How to not suck at YouTube? Um, yeah. Upload cool stations.